The tracking report displays the delivery statuses and responses for alerts in real time, allowing you to follow your resolution progress. And for concluded events, it displays a detailed history, allowing you to evaluate and improve your business processes. Let's take a dive into the tracking report and see how it works. The report's timeline lets you know how long the alert has been running, and if concluded, how long the alert ran for. Beneath is the user delivery area, which includes the five delivery status squares that span the notification lifecycle. Total users are the number of users that were targeted on at least one device. Pending means a notification was sent to a user's device, but a provider delivered response hasn't been received from the carrier, so there's no confirmation that the notification was delivered. This will change to not notified when the alert is concluded. Delivered means the notification was successfully sent, but the user hasn't responded yet. Responded means the users have responded to the notification and the response was received. Failed means the notification wasn't successfully sent to the user's device. This could be because of device unavailability or a service outage. Clicking on any of the delivery status squares will give you a detailed view of the delivery history. You can filter this view to show or hide users who were directly targeted by this notification, or users who were notified as part of a subscription. Add to Group instantly adds all users in this list into a new group, which is useful if you want to quickly notify these users again. You may want to do this when you need to quickly create a group to send follow-up messages to users who have already responded to the notification. Notification streams filter the report to display users who were directly targeted by the form or those who were targeted as part of a subscription. Any of these delivery lists can also be exported as a spreadsheet for your records or to share with other stakeholders. The Responses area displays a summary of the responses received by users who have responded to the notification. Clicking on a bar displays a list of the users who selected this response. You can perform the same actions here as you can in any of the delivery status squares. If the users have responded with a comment, they're shown here with the timestamp. It's also possible to add a comment directly from the tracking report. If you want to run this alert again, use the Options dropdown and select Duplicate Alert. You'll be given a chance to tweak any of the notification options before sending. To try the XMatters tracking report yourself, sign up for XMatters free at xmatters.com slash free. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know down below in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, I hope you'll consider giving it a like and subscribing. Have a great day.